All right, what's up, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here, and welcome back to Vigor. So, since Vigor went free to play on September the 23rd over on Nintendo Switch, and next month on November the 25th for PlayStation 4 players, I thought I would make a guide discussing your shelter and what I feel you should focus on upgrading first, especially in the early game. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. There are three things that I would focus on right from the get go. Number one, your crafting table. As you can see in the background, mine is got the little green icon on it, and that's because mine is complete. It is level 13. The reason why you should focus on this is pretty obvious, but I will say it anyhow. You want to have the ability to craft any weapons and or consumables in the game that you want. You do not want to be stuck with a grease gun, the Thompson, some shotguns, etc for much longer than you have to. It's not that they are bad weapons, but there are just so many better ones and you need to have the ability to craft them. Second is your little wooden log outside of your shelter. You want to upgrade that because it will generate materials. Those are the materials that you will use to, again, craft your weapons and consumables from the crafting bench. Third and final for especially early game, are your rat traps and the garden. And the reason being is you could donate food in the food basket and behind out behind the shelter there. And each week, depending on how much you donate, you can donate up to 10,000 food per week. You can go over the limit, uh, but I just don't see a point. But if you donate 10,000 food, you can get one of each crate, each rarity type. So from common up to special issue, AKA gold. Now, you won't be able to donate 10k right off the get-go, that's for sure, but even if you can get yourself a common and even a green crate, it's something. It, it helps with the Season Pass XP and so on. And of course, you can get some cosmetics, materials, and weapons from those crates as well. One other thing I will touch on is your antenna. You want to upgrade that as well because it will generate crowns. Crowns are the currency in Vigor that costs real-world money. And then, of course, you could do a, new, a number of different things with the crowns. Save them up and pick up some cool cosmetics from the store, boost the lobbies, use insurance if you really want to, whatever your heart desires. But, like I said, the first three things would definitely be the crafting table, the wooden log, and the rat traps. After that, then go for the crowns. What materials will you need for these things? Uh, if you hover over top of the little icons, like you see I am here doing now in the background, you can see I need wire and nails for the wood log. You need a lot of metal and chemicals for your crafting table, rat traps, fertilizer, and metal parts. Eventually you're going to need some wire for that as well, but you get the idea. Now one mistake that I made in the early game was I was using chemicals to upgrade different things, using my metal parts for other things. I was just trying to upgrade as much as I could all at once. Honestly, I regret doing that because if I could have gotten these crates that you're looking at here, this is the little food donation, I could have gotten so much more in the early game if I had focused on these things rather than spreading out all of my resources across the different upgrades that the shelter has to offer. So, but anyhow. That's what I feel you guys should do here in the early game and the best way to upgrade your shelter. After that, by all means, go ahead and upgrade however you wish. And that is that. So let me know what you think down in the comments section. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Consider subscribing for more Vigor content. And of course, don't forget that you can always follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer.